your meats, right? It's awesome. Your bacon, nothing's better than frying bacon in a cast iron skillet. True. The worst thing about a cast iron skillet? Well, oh, there's wait. two of them. Your food sticks becomes a huge mess, mm -hmm. and guess what? Usually, you're holding it with two hands, and for many people, the thought of using a cast iron skillet is just out of this mind because it's just too heavy. heavy. Well, guess what? And that's before you put the food that's in. That's before you put the food <laughs> in. Our good friend Mark Charles Vasili brings us great products here at QVC for the kitchen. You may have seen him on air. He has created truly a cast iron pan that is lightweight. And guess what? Isn't that boring black? And if those two things aren't good enough, it's non stick. Yep. It's the trifecta. We have it at a clearance price for you for $22.76. We only have one color left. I love the beautiful copper color. My sister, yes. this is, I gifted her the copper mm -hmm. one. Um, we had a lot more colors, but it's been so popular because again, you're getting all the benefits of a cast iron without any of the negatives. And it looks really nice. Double helper handles on the side, a truly a great pan. And look at the side of that salmon. It's perfect. It's so well done. It's got a nice crisp on the skin. And the skin's just going to peel off. And that's going to peel off. And look it. It's preserved. It didn't stick to the pan. Nope. Love it. Let's do a weight test. Yeah. Because I really want to show everybody at home, if they've never really owned a cast Excuse iron, mm -hmm. just the difference in weight we're talking about. Okay. So this is the traditional cast iron, as you said. And I believe it should be around a little under six pounds. So again, that's before you put the food in it. All right. Hold on. Let me grab this. With you got it. Ready to do your curls? <laughs> So this is Mark Charles 10 inch everyday pan, cast iron, but we call it light cast. And it's between uh, almost about two and three quarters pounds. Mm -hmm. And again, wow. you get all the same properties that you love about cast iron, which is heat retention, which is the searing, which it can be slow cooking. It's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, substrate or metal to use to cook with. And then Mark Charles married it with a PFOA nonstick which means you can use metal utensils. Only thing we ask is that you hand wash this. Okay. You shouldn't put this in the dishwasher. And again, it's a beautiful color, so mm -hmm. it's fashion and function. And again, it's super lightweight. And it's awesome, because again, the two handles on the side, mm -hmm. for a lot of us, we're getting weakened uh, strength in our yes. wrists. We're having problems. So heavy pans, heavy dishware, bakeware, we cannot use anymore. So Mark Charles thought about these types of solutions that he can bring to you in your kitchen, but yet give you the amazing performance and great results that you expect out of your traditional cookware. So chicken breast in this case, first mm -hmm. of all, nice size pan, it's 10 inches. Yep. You get two nice size breasts on there you could to actually, cook, yep. and you're gonna get such a great browning on that chicken. It's gonna be good. And if you don't know where to start, again, he's gonna give you some of the recipe cards, that recipes he's created um, along with your pan. All of Mark Charles cookware, no matter what you collect or what you have, always comes with two family recipes. And this again, you can add to your card collection. And I'm gonna run to the oven and get out the crispy, uh, the crispy chicken casserole. Crispy this is oven safe casserole. to 450 degrees, which is unusual for nonstick cookware. And this is, I'm gonna get you to yeah, get I'll the get oven. Yeah, I'll get it, yep, go ahead. And I'm a little tight on space here, so I'm gonna set this here, but I wanna show you the bubbling and the browning and cooking all the way around. Pulls away perfectly. Super easy to clean up. Look at this. Absolutely perfect. And think about starting a meal on the stovetop, finishing it in the oven, or starting one in the oven and finishing it on the stovetop. Mm -hmm. This is pretty enough to go to the table and again, all we just ask is that you hand wash it to take care of it. Okay. And um, no matter what kind of cookware you have, I think this would make a really nice complement to your collection. And the reason we call it an everyday pan is because it does not have a stick handle. Mm -hmm. It's got these two helper handles. So whether you have big beefy man hands or you have uh, pot mitts or, or cloths in your hand, you have complete uh, control and you're secure while you're moving it, you know, picking it up, coming out of the oven, or moving it from the stove top. That salmon looks incredible. That's like qual restaurant quality results there because you've you got the browning on it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Again, and salmon's very, very difficult to do when you try and do it in a pan 
because it's so delicate, that meat. Oftentimes, a lot of people roast their salmon yeah. uh, because of that. Here, you can get a nice sear on both sides because of that great nonstick. Now, traditional cast iron pan, you'd have to season. Would you have to do that with this? No, you don't. There's no seasoning. There's really no upkeep like there is to a cast iron skillet. So again, just don't put it in your dishwasher. You'll okay. enjoy it for years and years and years to come. Okay. And again, it's PFOA free nonstick, metal utensil safe. And she just wiped that out. Gonna clean up like a breeze. <laughs> and as my son would say, like a boss. I did it like, like a boss. That's his new thing now. <laughs> How old is he? Uh, now? He's ten, going on thirty. Oh my but gosh, yeah. yes he is. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think I mentioned the silicone wrap handles, but the side handles or the helper handles are silicone. So, you know, obviously if you're on a burner and there's heat, they will get warm and they get warm in the oven. Okay. But it helps, it makes it uh, easier for you to hold than just touching metal. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, what if a recipe would call for a nonstick spray? Should we avoid no. using those? No, no, yeah. no, 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 okay. no, no, no. Just Don't make ever sure. put, thank you, mm -hmm. never put nonstick spray on nonstick cookware. It actually builds up a residue in a film on the cookware and you actually impede the cooking surface and it burns at a very low temperature and that's just no, no, no. Use a little olive oil, use a little butter, but do not, not use the cooking don't spray. ever use cooking spray. Look at the yeah. browning again and the results and that chicken wasn't really on there that long. No, and these incredible. are incredible. These are really thick. I just yeah. think it, it just, it, it, the performance is there. The size is there. Heck, next to the chicken, we have the plate. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, oh. seven eggs we had in the plate. Yep. And then look corn at the cornbread. Bread. Perfectly. A yep. piece of cornbread. 400 now ordered. Great. I'm glad you're taking advantage of that clearance price of $22.